Aloha, my name is Justin Wheeler, and I am part of HPU's TESO program, which stands for Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages. And today I will be sharing what I learned through my practicum experience, which is the value of authentic interaction in developing learner confidence and competence. So my practicum experience took place at a school called Hawaii Tokai International College. Now this college is located in Kapolei, and it focuses on helping students develop the academic skills and language skills necessary to complete and progress and succeed in college level courses. However, at this school, I was hired as a part-time instructor for the English language program and actually taught an online English conversation class to students who are in Japan. And they all had the one goal, which was to learn how to be able to communicate in English. Now, keeping this goal in mind, my responsibility as the part-time instructor were to develop a proper curriculum and lesson plans that would help students achieve this goal. To prepare for my practicum experience, I had many discussions with my mentor about appropriate activities and about the teaching site itself. And I also talked with faculty members within the TESOL program about what teaching approaches and teaching activities might be best for my students. However, not only that, but I also pulled from my own experience as a TESOL student who has taken in online classes, as I considered the limitations that an online platform may result in. And while I was teaching, I was able to receive feedback from the program director at Hawaii Toka International College. And with her feedback to provide more visual information, I addressed and improved my lessons to further help the students. And lastly, I also talked with my peers about what they were doing in their own classes and how to make my activities more communicative and collaborative. Although I received training and attempted to resolve the difficulties that I had in my lessons, there were several strengths and weaknesses of this practicum experience. The first strength is the freedom that I had, the freedom to create my own content and materials. It was also a valuable classroom experience for me as I am myself not a very experienced classroom teacher. I also had support from both my program at HPU TESOL and the program at Hawaii Toka International College. And lastly, I got to meet students who are motivated and eager to learn English. However, that freedom did have its difficulties. As an inexperienced teacher, it was difficult to develop a lesson plan and a curriculum without that foundation and a lack of structure. However, with the support from my teachers and faculty and the fellow teachers at Hawaii Toka International College, I was able to overcome those difficulties. It was also a short-term online class, which meant I needed to uh, modify my lessons to fit the online platform and the fit the time constraints. Now, when I first implemented my lessons, I thought that practice made perfect. I ascribed to everyone's belief that if you do something often enough and frequently, that you'll eventually get it perfectly. And so for my students, I gave them dialogue to practice with. So I gave them scripted dialogue. It was a controlled conversation. And the students were to practice with that before they entered live interactions. And that was the assumption I made. However, when I did this, I saw in my students that it was not effective for them. All the students were from the same background and they were making the same mistakes. And essentially they were all classmates. And so these conversations, they weren't learning or developing language. They weren't having conversations. They were studying conversations. They were studying English. And so it wasn't developing their conversational skills because it was just among them. It was fake, it wasn't real. And so I implemented some changes based on a theoretical concept that I remembered from HPU TESOL. Now I remembered that in class we learned that comprehensible input, language that is understandable is necessary for development, for, ch uh, for ch students, children, learners to learn. However, Michael Long in 1983 built on this idea and came up with the interaction hypothesis, which stated that the language, the input is made comprehensible and understandable during interaction. And so not only is understandable language necessary, but interaction is also necessary for the students to really develop their language abilities. And so I wanna go over his key points about negotiation of meaning occurring during interaction. Now, during interaction, any interaction between native speakers of English or non-native speakers, there are going to be some misunderstandings and miscommunication. It's inevitable. And during this misunderstanding and miscommunication, to resolve it, there is negotiation of meaning. Now, what this means is we employ and do several communicative practices to resolve this misunderstanding, asking for clarification, asking them to repeat themselves, 
trying to decipher what the message is, what is really being said. And for learners, this is especially valuable as it leads to language acquisition. They receive feedback from their participant in the conversation on what they're, if what they're saying is right or not. And this negotiation of this space where they interact with another speaker and discuss their own language use is really helpful to them. That's where they learn. In my classroom, instead of having scripted dialogue, I had them have conversations with my fellow HPU classmates. An example is over here, Shun Ishihara, a current BA student in the TESOL program. And these conversations were real. They weren't scripted, they weren't dialogues, they were uncontrolled. And so students had the ability, the freedom to talk about what they wanted and the freedom and the opportunity to receive feedback, to negotiate for meaning. So because of these changes, I saw not only language development, but an increase in their confidence, an increase in their enjoyment in using English. So overall, very positive results. And I learned the value of authentic interaction. You know, having students actually talk with others and not just study by themselves or study with their classmates, but have real conversations where they're trying to communicate something and trying to get to know someone is very important for language development. I also learned that learners are capable. You know, they're able to do things we don't expect them to. I also learned that the teacher is not the authority. The teacher is the helper. I found that I was there to help them. You know, if they had trouble um, saying something, I was there to give advice or give suggestions. And I think that was more helpful to the students developing language than it was just telling them the answer. I also learned, and this is the most primary lesson, the primary lesson I learned was that learning in any subject, not just language, is an interactive experience. Finally, I want to end on this quote by Helen Keller, who says that alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Thank you for listening to my presentation.